It's been 15 minutes. They're never this late. Especially if it's for me. If something came up, they would have told me before the meeting time. I hope something bad didn't happen. Not on the day they'd find out about their promotion. Did they stay after when they got it? Maybe their boss had to give them pointers before Monday. I wouldn't blame them for something like that. But they would at least text me at some point. Is it the traffic? It doesn't look that bad outside. Even still, they would have called. Speaking of which, maybe I should give them a call? It wouldn't hurt since it's this late. Oh, it's them! Hey, where are you? It's not like you to be late to hang out with your best friend in town. What's... Whoa, whoa, slow down. I can't understand what you're saying. You went home? Why? Did you forget something was going on tonight? Hey, 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 I appreciate the apology. I was just hoping you'd give me a heads up beforehand. Oh, you want me to come over to your place? Sure. I'll be there in a few minutes. Hold tight for me, okay? I'm very sorry. Something came up. I will not be ordering anything tonight. Here, please have this for your troubles. What the hell happened? They sounded so freaked out. Did they not get the promotion? Well, they wouldn't sound that traumatized about that alone. Disappointed, most likely. Did their car break down? <gasps> Maybe something happened with their family. Okay, Cake, stop panicking. That's not going to help anyone or anything. Just focus on calming them down before you work yourself up. Ah, <sighs> there. Made it in one piece. Of course I came. Oh god, you look like a mess. What happened? Hey, hey, slow down there. You're talking way too fast. Let me come in, we can sit down, and we can talk about it. Also, it's very cold out here, and that's not helpful for the nerves either. Now, what in the name of the devil happened today? What happened to that promotion? You... You got it! Congratulations! I knew you could do it! I knew you would get it! But I don't understand why you're so upset. We should be celebrating, right? It happened after that? What happened after that? Ugh. Yeah, I remember that asshole. The wisecracking why aren't they fired yet piece of shit, right? They did... What? Oh. My. God! What's their problem? They've been cutting corners since they got there! Of course they were the least deserving candidate. They dug their own grave. They had zero right to tear you down like that. I'm trying. I'm really trying not to get angry. How? Just how? How can someone so despicable, so disrespectful for life and humanity stoop so low to say something like that? This is entirely unacceptable. If I were to work in your HR department, they would have been fired on the spot. What are you talking about? You did not get the promotion because of racial pity points. You got the promotion because you worked your ass off to get it. You've wanted this for months, and now look! A whole new chapter is going to open for you! Just because someone got jealous, it doesn't mean you have to turn your back on your hard work. I'm not going to let anyone scare you out of this job. Look at me. Even if you weren't black or brown, 
Or maybe you'd be the purple people eater for all I care. Even if you were white, that dumbass would have found anything to ridicule you out of this promotion because they were so insecure about their own work ethic. If they couldn't tackle you from the work perspective, they'll tackle you directly. And that's what they did, and it's wrong either way. A real coworker would bring you up no matter what you look like or where you came from to fulfill your goals. Not knock you off the ladder. You deserved it. You got it. You should be proud of yourself because it means all of your dedication to your job was worth it. You have no idea how proud I am. Uh, duh. Why wouldn't I be? Who was the one who stayed up with you most nights for interview prep? Who was the one who gets you out of the house for a drink after a long day of staring at a computer until your eyes burned? And who was the one who told you to keep going even when you wanted to quit? Exactly. Because I care about what's under the skin, not what color the skin actually is. If it was the opposite, I would never have went up to talk to you at that book club. Well, if I knew what I was getting into, if that were the case, I'd probably move to the most conservative white town in America's existence. But you want to know what I think? Being any type of bigot is way too much work. Any person could use so much energy, but at the end of the day, they'd be so tired that you have to forget how to love in order to recover faster. Then they go back to the hating the next day. It's a cycle of cynical behavior that can be stopped at will if you catch it early enough or if someone kicks your ass hard enough. Someday, that racist coworker of yours will get their just desserts. And it will taste so sour, they'll never want to eat it again. What will become of them has nothing to do with you. It doesn't. I promise. It does not have anything to do with you. Here's your first official task of your new position. You have to tell your boss what happened today. The first thing you do as soon as you get back to work on Monday, you have to tell your boss what you endured today. Why? Is that rhetorical? Because what if that jerk comes back and says or does something else? You're never gonna know when. It might not be on Monday. But who wants to wait for something worse to happen if, if you decide to just ignore something like this? You'll be left in the open. Sweetie, the pattern has to end before it starts. I care about you too much to have this happen again. You're my best friend, remember? Well, I must be colorblind because I can't see why anyone would put you down the way your bastard coworker does. Um, would you say that a white rose is any less beautiful than a red one? It's the same flower. Would you say that the day and night sky are any different? It's still the sky. How about your coffee table? It's made of glass, right? And you know that my coffee table is made out of wood. They still complete the same jobs as any coffee table would do. They're made out of different material, but a coffee table is a coffee table. A rose is still a rose. The sky is still the sky. And you are still a person as much as I. No one can change that, and no one has the right to change that. No, you can't change it. It's not possible. Uh... Forgive me for stealing an animated character's way of thinking, but it's like a peach tree. You can take a seed and plant it whenever you want. However, as hard as you try to wish for an apple or a pear or an orange, a peach seed will grow into a peach tree, and a peach tree will always grow peaches no matter what. You can water the tree and give it whatever else it needs, but you can't mold it to whatever you want it to. A peach tree is a peach tree. I am me, and you are you. Molding people is not possible either. 
So if that guy is trying to make you less of your color, they're already out of luck. I'm not saying that they're the only racist out there. I know there are others. I've met them, and they're just as terrible as who you're describing. But they all have something in common. They have nothing else better to do than to make themselves feel better by making everyone else feel worse. At the end of the day, they still haven't improved themselves to make them feel better, so as I said before, the cycle begins again. Only certain people with a certain willpower can break a horrible cycle like that. That's why I'm here with you. I care about you so much. I want to see you succeed in all the right ways at your job. If you need help telling your boss about this bad seed, I can call in late and join you Monday morning. Oh, I will. Don't make me make a promise about that. Even if you say so, I will keep pushing, you know. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll also try to keep my composure when I see that asshat walking down the hall. I can't promise that I won't give them the death glare, but I will act like a lady and wait until they go into the parking lot for me to punch them in the face. I'm kidding, mon ami. That was a joke. Monday is going to be all about you and how we should bring things back to peaceful order. Of course, that's how it should be.